Hey, what's up, ecosystem? Welcome back to Auto Transport Intel. It is Friday. It is noon central time. That means it's time for Cars on the Move, where we're going to be live with Ty. We're connecting dealers, auctions, and carriers. Actually, we have a special guest today. Um, we're going to be live with Fortress Mobile, and we'll tell you more about that in a minute. Do me a favor. You see the like button below the video, and you see that share button. There you go. Two thumbs up. So, uh, do both. Do me a favor. Click that share button. Click the copy button. You can grab the YouTube link. You can text it, email it, share it on social media. People are now doing that. And you can let somebody know that for the next 30 minutes, we're going to be live with Ty. We're going to be live with Fortress Mobile. And if you've got deep business questions, go to autotransportintel.com. Click on sign up. More, more people are doing that as well. So you can talk to Ty. You can join the roundtable. We're excited to have you. You can also, please do feel free to join the live chat. Um, oh, awesome. We got Vistaga in the live chat. And we've got Mac Paul in the live chat. Cool. Thank you so much for saying hello and joining us today. This is going to be a really interesting show. Um, sometimes we never know exactly what we're going to do until we do it. Right? That's what being live is all about. So let's say hello to Ty. Ty, can you see us and hear us? Yeah. Hey, Jay. How are you? Hey, what's going on, man? I'm good. A little chilly out today. <laughs> is it? Right around 30. Wind's yeah. not too, too bad, but I'm at the auction in the transport parking lot. Okay. Uh, Kansas City, America's Auto Auction. Big sale. I've, I've been here all morning. There's been a ton of trucks in and out of here, so they had a good sale yesterday, period. And, uh, oh, Tuesday night. I got to tell you about Tuesday night. Now, <laughs> wow. <laughs> How did that happen? Wow. Yeah. You, Tuesday night. Um, okay. You know, I know how it happened because you work hard. You do. Mike, by the way, Mike, check, check, check. You work really hard. Um, you, you, I, I told you what a few weeks ago, a month ago, let's get as many people as we can. And we had a lot of people that didn't even make it. That, sh that, that meeting could have been, like, almost 30 people, you know, right? Yeah. And you did that. You well, and your networking. Your so show. thank you, man. It was your show. Anyway, it was good. And, uh, was you know, I did a little follow-up video. I said one of my big takeaways there, we didn't talk about really how to build your business, but we did get a lot of people that got to tell us about how difficult this business is. And I think the reality of, you know, do I, do I get into car hauling to get rich? Is doesn't seem to be the uh, overwhelming consensus that that's why I got into car hauling, right? So talking to these that's guys, right. having these relationships with these guys, and I mean they call me, we talk. You know, I, I, Josh down in uh, Mississippi, Alabama, Josh Thornton, he's down there killing it. He's, he yeah, called me he's yesterday. Busy says guy. I need help. Yeah. Oh, is that okay? So he needed help. He was looking for. That's, what, yeah, that's why I said. Yeah. <laughs> he's got. got a, a, he sent me a picture of him holding 126 gate passes. Wow. Got to get all these cars moved. I need help. Wow. So, I guess the thing is, is that uh, the relationship. You know, I was able to get a hold of T. Rone. He was on the show. Right. I wonder. Okay. Good. Yeah. Yeah. So he's going to try to help him out. Sean, Sean didn't make it to the show, but Sean's going to try to help him out. So Sean Harry, yeah. We'll see how it goes. Wow. Well, it is. And by all the noise. Oh, no, you're cool. By the way, um, we got Finest Towing and Recovery is here. What's up, John? Thanks for tuning in. Fall of Lives. Hey, this should be a good one. Thank you, Fall of Lives, for tuning in, saying hello. Mark Grodicky Superflow Systems is here. And, of course, Carlos Braxton never misses a show. <laughs> Up Carlos. <laughs> I know, and it's it is it's so neat. I keep saying it, but uh, it is amazing now that we can see people and hear people talk. We we know we're we're starting to know the network better, and that it, it, it's I love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, I think if anything, that you know, if we I, I heard you say we might do it again in two months, whether it's one month or two months. I really think I see a lot of value, and like you say, seeing the face. Hearing the story, you know, everybody that was in there is trying to figure something out. And that, that's what I love about it is because I don't have all the answers. I know you don't have all the answers. So you see a bunch of people trying to figure out how to make this business work. 
and not just work, but do it safely, you know, do it with moral, do it with integrity, do these things. So, because it, this business is really heavily regulated, right? I mean, oh I heard you and, uh, you and you uh, and wow, me Brian and Brian. About I it. know. Yeah. We were talking about insurance rates going up. By the way, I want to ring the bell again. Chris Chamberlain is in here. What's going on, Chris? Silver Mint says hello. Wow, it's neat. Iceberg transport. So anyway, transport. Um, one of the things that we didn't really talk about was <clears throat> fleet. I'm a fleet guy. Yeah. Right? I, I like to have 20 trucks, 10 trucks. I like to have a lot of trucks moving a lot of cars. And so one of the things that you talk about a lot is networking and you network a lot on LinkedIn, right? You meet oh, a lot yeah, of people, like you crazy. talk to a lot of people. So I'm on LinkedIn as well. And I met these guys that we're having on the show today, Fortress, Fortress Mobile. What's Fortress Mobile? What do they do? Well, they're for fleet guys, but they're also for the little guy. So uh, I'm excited to have them on today. Mike and Alex, are they, right. are they here? So I'm gonna bring him in, let's do that. Um, perfect introduction, it's time to bring in our guests. We've got Mike and Alex. Uh, now, Mike McInerney, Mac Ernie, Senior Account Mac Manager, Mac and Ernie, and Alex Lawnen, also Senior Account Manager, both from Fortress Mobile. Alex, can you see us and hear us okay? Absolutely, glad to be here. All right, cool. Thanks hey, for taking the time to join us. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So so we're live. So, uh, all right. So, Ty, so tell us more, Ty. You made contact with Alex and Mike. Take it away. I originally met Mike and uh, through LinkedIn, of course, we got to talk. And Mike was in the live chat Tuesday night. I said, look, get in the live chat, introduce yourself, be a part of the community because we need, you know, Jay always talks about his on his show he's all these different verticals within auto transport right and in auto transport i mean there are so many there's the oem there's the used car there's the in ops what kind of equipment do you need what about what's an auction what's a car dealer all these questions all these things jay talks a lot about the front end of the store the final mile delivery i talk a lot about the transport parking lot and moving lots of cars but either way this is exciting right here because uh we do have fleets and if you do have a fleet what's everybody always wants to know where are my cars where's my car at right oh i don't know in jay a long time ago jay did this commercial where the dude walks up to this chick's house and he's getting where's my car that kind of a thing <laughs> the like, transport guy <laughs> yeah so anyway i'm happy that mike and alex are here i want you guys to go ahead and introduce yourself yeah. and tell us a little bit about what you got well absolutely thanks ty thanks jay uh, thanks, everybody. Uh, uh, again, uh, we're Fortress Mobile. My name's Alex Lonnen, Senior Account Manager. Uh, we're based here in Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, and we've been around since the early 90s. Uh, we're basically a company that integrates, um, that integrates our, uh, our software on a cloud-based product, which we integrate with cameras, live GPS tracking. We actually have a mobile app um which uh will allow you to track uh these vehicles look at them in live streaming um right from the right from the palm of your hand right there at your phone we have an ios and a uh and an android app so whichever technology you have but uh we are in a number of verticals we're everywhere from public transportation down to school districts i'm actually big how i you know you got to you know you're wanting to protect your passengers well, I've gotten huge in the cannabis transportation. Uh, we are mm. medical transportation has been huge, especially up in the Northeast um, to where we actually, the cannabis control people actually make them have a camera on the product. Uh, Jay, for instance, has got to track Ty when he makes his delivery. All this has got to be extremely secure and that's what we provide. We also, in this industry, I uh, have been working, uh, I've had a number of conversations uh, down in Atlanta with uh, Cotrail Trailers. Um, right there with, that you're looking at there behind Ty, yep, right there is, uh, is their car hauler. And um, what we're working with them is, and, and you guys can tell me this better than anybody, apparently the way you measure how high the top of that highest vehicle is, is, is literally you've got, a, you got like a stick and you're going up there and you're saying, okay, it's under... 
this this threshold so we can go under under passes. Um, Cotrell says, you know, hey, there's got to be a better mousetrap. So what, what we've been mm-hmm. doing, and it brings up a great point, we own our own software. We develop our own software. We have our own R&D team. So we do a lot of customization. So Cotrell reached out to us to basically say, hey, listen, with your camera technology and your ability through your cloud, through the software, would there be a way that we could basically shoot and get this height? You know, it's, a, it's, it's easier, it's faster, it's more streamlined. So that's an example of, you know, how our, how our technology is being, uh, being used within, uh, within the uh, auto hauler, you know, uh, arena. Uh, another thing is we've actually worked with uh, some, some very prevalent over the road companies that uh, we were able to put camera technology on the exterior of the tractor so they could see down the sides of their of their trailer and i was telling jay and ty that you know the the customer using our technology got an alert because we have a panic button and you know he he received this alert says hey ty's got a problem ty's got a problem and he was able to go to his phone he was able to see in live time real-time video real streaming video what had happened and they had had a false allegation that they caused this humongous wreck and come to find out we play back video. Sure enough, a lady was trying to pass them on the curb on the outside. And as the lane ended, she actually hit the truck itself. So with this technology, we were able to quickly grab that video, send it to law enforcement, insurance companies. And he said, Alex, that's exactly why we invested what we did in that technology, because that one incident more than covered the cost of what could have been if he had to go to court because of a false, you know, false allegation. But uh, that's a little bit about Fortress wow. Mobile, what we do. Um, you know, if you guys got any questions, um, I know Jay had said that, uh, you know, he'll, he'll shoot out our uh, contact info website where you all can go to find us. Um, you know, we're just excited to be a part of, uh, of something that's really cool. Uh, you know, I've never been on like a, a real live right? uh, deal, deal like this. It's kind of so, interesting, uh, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. It so. is. It's really interesting. Um, let's also, uh, introduce Mike. Mike, please say hello to the auto transport Intel. Live yes. Audience. Hello guys. Thanks for having me. I'm sorry. I, my camera was kind of messing up there and I'm not, you know, but yeah, thanks for, for, thanks for letting us join. We're uh, super excited about this. This is a real exciting industry. You know, anytime you're at a car lot and the, the car hauler pulls in and starts to unload the cars, you know, everybody stops what they're doing, turns around and watch the whole thing. So really exciting. We're super excited to be here and just let everybody know what our technology is about and, and how it can help your industry. That's, that's fantastic. Um, and it's, you know, I'm biased because I'm a video guy, but I I know that on a regular basis, I feel like people are talking about video of their truck, video to protect from accidents. I mean, I just was talking on DOT, you know, Brian thinks that insurance rates will go up, so what better way to protect yourself? Um, having said that, Ty, I know he's chomping at the bit, Ty. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sitting here, I'm thinking about, okay, well, you've got, the, uh, the obvious, which is, you know, somebody pulled out in front of me, they caused the accident, they're trying to cause me the accident. As Alex was talking, I was thinking about, I had a fleet of 20, and I can't tell you how many nights I didn't sleep thinking about my guy might fall down. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> it's cold out there. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I, I thought, you know, you look, look, look here. Let me see. You see this right here? Yeah. You know how many guys fall down and get hurt right there? A lot. You know how many guys fall off the top up there and get hurt? You know, that's a work comp claim. You know, and then you've got damages. I was thinking as Alex was talking, I thought, wouldn't it be cool if we put a little camera like right here, maybe one over there, and then we know. You know, I mean, there's just so, it seems like it's unlimited. <clears throat> Because as carriers, let me try to get away from this just little noise a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, as carriers, guys that have fleets, one of the things that happens is uh, we get accused of doing damage, right? You put the cars too close, they scuff, they bounce, whatever the case may be. And I'm thinking there's all kinds of places where you could hide a little camera, you know, right in between 
right there. See that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, Tom. How makes many a gr- guys yeah. have to pay for a bumper that they didn't even scratch? Yeah. No, All Tom. Make, yeah, Tom makes a great point because, you know, in in the instance uh, of the car hauler, to his to his points, but also we put cameras on the exterior, uh, you know, fifty three foot <laughs> trailer, because you want to be able to see your guys bringing that product in, making sure it's secure. Uh, we're, we're big into like the beer beer people, you know, where you ratchet those things down you know they've always got spillage and breakage and they can now go back and say you know mike didn't load it right or he didn't strap it down correctly um there's all kinds of possibilities but he makes some great points you know you guys are going to get it you know you could possibly get accused of doing something that you didn't do you know i've took every step i've done everything correctly i'm all about it you know blah 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 well another thing you could think about is implementing this technology and again if you had this accessible video on your phone, if you knew Ty was making a pickup loading cars, we can put it to where Ty can look on his phone and see and watch to see if those guys are doing it properly to making sure that they're being safe. Um, there's just, there's just a realm of possibilities and, and we, we, we would entertain any and all of them. Right. Well, I was excited to know you're working with Cottrell. Cottrell's my favorite. That's what I, the equipment I always had when I owned all the trucks. And these are, you know, Cottrell puts out a great product. There, there's always the guys that will complain about it. But as a whole, they've always been good to me. And, uh, you know, when I, I was thinking another thing before we even had the show, I was thinking I had a driver, Bobby. Bobby would always have this, this uh, trailer tire. He'd always have a blowout. I couldn't ever figure out why Bobby always had a blowout, right? I was always buying a tire about every week. Well, he was curbing them. If I had a camera that I could say, Bobby, stop curbing it. You're going to start buying these $500 trailer tires. I'm done buying them. Uh, but you, you can't ever really, you know, buy I didn't do it. So, right. Yeah. Well, uh, not like only- you said, the possibilities are unlimited. Yeah. Not only that, Ty, if uh, I, I- if I'm not mistaken, and correct me if I'm wrong, Alex, but if uh, if Bobby hits the curb, then that that will send a G-force warning, and you will get a you'll get a notification or an alert that Bobby just whacked the curb with his truck. Yeah, and you can call him and say, "Hey, Bobby, uh, you need to lay off the curb." Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that's that's part of our whole. Um, it's tied to our driver behavior. A lot of your audience, Jay. Uh, they probably are familiar with a product called drive cam. Um, that's, that's a product that basically they monitor your fleet. If there's a video problem or something, uh, that occurs, they, they then send that to Jay. Um, what we pride in is why rely on somebody else, uh, to manage all that when you could manage yourself significant cost change. Um, and, uh, that's what our all in one solution allows you to do. Is you you when you need video, you go get the video. Um, if you get if you get an alert that says Ty is curbing the curb again because our G Force sensor uh, read that went through the cloud went back to Ty's phone he got an alert saying Hey listen you had a uh, an, an incident occur. Um, so fabulous technology. It's really really uh, you know multi levels of where you can go and what you can show. So. Okay, think, well, let's get down to some of the. I always like to talk about money. <laughs> before you do, I want to ask this. <laughs> before you do, is that so? I think there will be because, like Andrew Serica at the round table, he's an enclosed two car, so small operation, mm-hmm. but you know, this kind of quality is something that his customers want. Can a single owner operator tap into your network as well? Absolutely. When I mentioned the uh, the medical transport business that we're in, lots of guys just getting started. Uh, you know, so and so state just approved, and uh, you know they applied for a license, and now Jay's delivering product to dispensaries, picking up at farms, whatever that looks like. So I've got a lot of onesie twosies. I've got upwards of a school district here in Charlotte. We run 1,300 school buses. Okay. Um, you know, there's just a, a range. And, and, cool. uh, and it's, uh, you know, we, we hope that your example of the guy that's got the one, he invests the money, sees the payoff. Now, as he grows, 
he gets a second truck. Now we can jump in there and, and, and grow with them. So, right. Know. And that's where the fleet management system comes into Correct. play. Cause there's a lot more products and services right. on your suite right. of yep, offering. Absolutely. Yeah, we, okay. and I just, I just really hit on the highlights. We, we integrate in that one all in one solution. Again, cameras, GPS tracking. We have some basic fleet maintenance, uh, oil changes, intervals. Um, you know, this, this is, uh, actually a product that I was doing, uh, with, uh, Virginia department of transportation. We went in and, and, and equipped one of their snowplow trucks. Uh, and we actually had a camera for where they could see the product being dispensed. Uh, just that's it right there. Just a lot of, uh, that's, yep. That's a camera wash that we sell as school bus. Um, we're at the ports in stevedores, the big ganter cranes that you're looking at. We've got cameras that look down on the product. You can imagine the liability there. Jay's in there on that little ganter crane and he's going down there trying to pick up these containers and oh hell, I dropped one. Well, it'd be nice to have some video and say, you know, it wasn't, wasn't caused by me, but yeah, to your point, Jay, lots of, Great. lots of technology, lots Great. of different arenas. Okay, cool. Okay, Ty, take her away. Well, yeah, I mean, you, you set it up perfect because I'm thinking, and we do, we've got, in, there, the other thing I don't know is, is this something that is, Jay's, Jay's my go-to guy for T, what is it, TMS? TMS. TMS. <laughs> so is there a TMS system that this could even integrate with? Well, again, uh, that's a great question. And, and, and what, what I can tell you is this, is we have opened up, for lack of a better word, our back end. And, and tied into some different things. Again, the positive there is we own the software. You got some companies out there that said, absolutely no way, you're not coming in. Yeah. You know, you think about people stealing your technology. Um, we're working with um, Airport Shuttle Company. One of my big accounts nationwide is Park and Fly. They've actually tapped into our API so that they could right. do, they made like their own little uh, pickup app and that kind of stuff. But we were collecting the same data. And so to, to Ty's point, yeah, I mean, I can't say every single one that we would come in contact with that we could integrate, but certainly right. with our platform through an API, yeah, through an API, you find you, it, yeah. and there because there is there's so many softwares, yeah. for lack of a better word, but yes. in the in, in the so many verticals and so many right. reasons to have a system right. that having an API and connecting, yeah. yeah. So because obviously there are like you're talking about Ty, there are TMS platforms in auto transport where you manage all your loads, but right. you don't have any of the functionality that Alex is talking about. That's correct. That's correct. Yeah. We, and we have, you know, school districts that run a particular product, you know, can, can Fortress integrate with those products. We've had some success. We've had some, some people that, you know, we, we couldn't make it work, but certainly having that technology and owning that technology allows us to open that up and, and even enter, entertain that idea because, you know, a lot of companies and, will just say, uh-uh, and, all this and, behind the curtain's mine. You, right. you don't well, get and, to see any of that. Even the GPS, some TMSs have GPS, but I'm sure right. your GPS right. Right. Our goes GPS way beyond. Way beyond. Right. You know, we're, we're a real-time GPS, and that's because uh, basically industry leaders maybe will ping uh, maybe every, you know, 10 to 20 seconds. We actually ping about every one to two seconds. Just as quick as you can make connectivity with satellite, that's when our GPS runs. So you're 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 really seeing your vehicles in real time on, on the road. Um, so yeah. And and hey, check this out, John at Finest Towing and Recovery. He says, please forward my info. I need GPS on my flatbeds, two car enclosed. So um, I can send you John's information, you and then set, also John, you can go to. Yeah, you can go to for, uh, our our website. FortressMobile.com. Yeah. yeah. And then there's the contact no, John's us the page. kind of guy you just call him. Yeah, right. And so, and, and then <laughs> phone just number. Talk to him. Right. Uh, Here's a phone number. Yeah, phone number. You can call our 800 number. Uh, Mike, you got that off the top of your head? I got 800 437 3920. That's fine. Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. And then, and you can go to our the, sales. A, on our website, you can request a demonstration. You can uh, you it. can request to contact us. A uh, number of number of ways to, to get in touch with us. So, but I'm glad to hear that's a great opportunity. And, that uh, is. Know, that's awesome. That, that's that's yeah. that's why we're here, and why we're so thankful that uh, you and Ty, you know, included Mike and myself. So. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. 
That's what I was sitting. I was thinking, John. I was actually thinking about John. I just <laughs> talked to him. I thought, watching that rollback over there on load, they probably need cameras too for something, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah absolutely. It's, it's uh. Once you start to look at the possibilities, and and you know, we think about you know, it's 2021 now. So when we talk about cameras everywhere, I think we're all kind of getting more used to this idea. And there are some really great uses because when we want to protect ourselves from a claim that to us doesn't make sense, I mean, yeah. it's a great opportunity. So. Absolutely. And you hit the nail, you hit the nail right on the head. It's not a, it's a, it's not a big brother right staring at me, right. you know, anymore. It's we're, John's investing that technology to make his drivers and his folks safer yes. and, you know, make sure they're doing the right thing. It's not, I, I'm not trying to spy on you. I'm here, buddy, because if you do your job and somebody accuses you of doing something wrong, we've got a way to cover it. And covering you covers me. And now we don't have any litigation. We don't right. have, you know, none of that stuff. So that's right. That's Anything to stay out of litigation <laughs> is a <Yeah>. good tool. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, absolutely. Um, all right. We have only got a few more minutes left. It goes really fast, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. It, does. it does. It's amazing. And I feel like we covered a lot of great information. Um, as I say that, here's what I want to do. I want to show. Also, if you want to see some videos, you go to the YouTube channel, Fortress Mobile. Uh, and parent company FSI Inc. Is that yes, right? Sir. Okay. That's right. Fortress Mobile. Oh, here we go. I got to click that subscribe button. Go to Fortress Mobile on YouTube and you can watch some more videos to uh, think about different ways that this might apply to your business. Absolutely. And of course, go to FortressMobile.com. And I clicked on, I, I went to the About Us, I clicked on Contact Us, and that's how I got the, uh, the I scrolled down, I got the 800 number, email yep. address, etc. Yep. So. Absolutely, absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, again, as, as we're winding down here, I cannot, uh, speaking for Mike and myself, cannot thank you all enough to giving us, you know, uh, uh, the ability to come on here. Tell you a little bit about Fortress. Absolutely love this whole interactive live. Right. You know, ties out on the <laughs> ties out on the ties out on the road. I mean, it's just uh, <laughs> it's, it's it's really something special. And, and certainly uh, if you guys need us uh, to come back on at any time, we would yeah. be happy to do it. Well, so. we need to talk about that. And also, here's a, one last question. This dog asked, would it work to monitor inside a dry van having companies damaging my trailers? I already know the answer. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, what we can do is put that camera on the <clears throat> interior. So just like, uh, you know, cameras at night, we are, we're, we're infrared. So, you know, if, you're, if it's enclosed and it's dark, it's not going to be a problem. We're going to be able to catch up, catch the image. Um, but, but he hit the nail right on the head, whether you're going into a con enclosed container with a vehicle or you're a beer distributor and you've got multi cases of, of product in there, uh, you want to make sure things are done right, done correct. We're, we're, we're all about it. Yeah. That's awesome. So there it is. Yeah. So Vistaga, um, you've got the website, phone number, email address in the live chat. Um, and uh interesting okay well let's 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 try to field this one here we okay. go here's here we got a, we got a curveball okay hey guys thank you for the live stream i have a question is it legal to have a live dash cam isn't it a disturbance of driver's privacy and how about terminals where you can't record anything i guess where you're on someone else's camera interesting interesting in, inter topic. yeah interesting yeah. point um as far as the drive cam well, what we can do is that would be up to the customer. So if they wanted to see the, quote, drive cam or what we would call a dash view, in other words, you want to see what your driver's seeing. Well, we, we sell that technology to where you wouldn't, you wouldn't see your driver. You would just see, you know, the dash. Uh, right. the dash. You would see the backup camera. You would see Ty's camera on the trailer. In no way would you have to see the driver we don't have to integrate the driver that would be a customer preference that's an option and, yeah. and i think to get to anatoly's question i think what we're talking about is if you work for a company and they have camera systems when you work there you're probably in the uh, worker agreement agreeing to being you know recorded in these situations party probably part of the but obviously that pertains to each well, company in yeah. each contract 
Yeah, and exactly. again, it's a, the re, I like the question because it's a reflection of are we used to cameras everywhere yet? And right. it, some of us are just you know trying yep. to figure out how that works in our Cer in certainly our lives. to your certainly to your point. You know, uh, and, and I don't want to get on a huge tangent, but our technology actually saw a, t a, a, a rather uh, tick up, uh, oddly enough, during COVID because unlike our public transportation folks. They were utilizing this live stream feature to see if their passengers were set up in that social distancing. They were checking to see if their drivers were wearing their mask. I mean, this was protection for the owner operator as well as the general riding public to make sure yeah. things were right. So yeah. it's 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 not as cliche, you know, yeah. hey, you're spying on me or doing something wrong. You're really taking this technology to help protect yeah as, as we your your drive as we as we move forward into the future that concern i think just continues to lessen yep. Yep. and it is i saw i saw some technology yeah and it was in real time it could identify if someone wasn't wearing a mask right which you know take it or leave it it's it's a technology that right yeah well, we have place. that as well right yeah we yeah we I'm have sure we have do. we have yeah. that technology we have an ai camera now that you know, can do a little bit, uh, especially on a, on a big fleet over the road, a, a driver, you know, they can they can get a alarm or alert if different functions are being performed, like bringing hand up probably on his phone, you know, eye contact, dozing off. I mean, different things like that, that yeah. utilizes our technology, integrates that video. Um, you can use it as a teaching point. You know, hey, this is certainly not how you want to do it. John does right. it the right way. You see that Watch guy this. Yeah. that nods off going down the road, the trailer goes sideways, <laughs> yeah. stuff yeah. goes everywhere. Yeah. yeah, that's probably not how you want That's to a like good model video. yourself. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and then blames it on the deer that Ertz ran in front of him. Yeah, exactly. Everybody <laughs> watches those. Um, guys, I thank you so much. Ty, oh, absolutely. do you have anything to add? I think we got it. Oh, that was... Uh... <clears throat> Yeah, and I th I'm sure we'll be talking to these guys again, either on a Friday or Tuesday. But there's, there, I could really talk about this in detail a lot, especially if I was sitting down. But there, <laughs> the, you know, the damages, and I just, I just keep thinking about damages. You know, know. Da damages yeah. in this business really kill us, I, and they're crazy. And then you, you know, it's always this. Well, did you do it or did they do it? Was it? I'm at the auction right now, right? Did the auction? What, I bought it and it didn't have that on it. Didn't that that wasn't there when I bought it? Uh, well, we'll go get the tape. And the auction's got tapes. Well, does the auction have a tape over the entire facility? Maybe, maybe not. I doubt it. So, uh, did the car guy do you, it? Did the, you yeah. said something really? Because th here's the thing. Even though it may be recorded. Is there a guy sitting in a room with a bunch of tapes everywhere? <laughs> well, which yeah. tape do I got to go to? <laughs> right, right, right. And, that, and right. so data management, right, especially in video, now you really have to know what you're doing. Right, right, right. Well, and right. I've done enough car hauling, and I personally have damaged enough cars. I'll be the first <laughs> to raise my hand. I got a gold medal in damages. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've learned the hard way. And I, I, over time, you get better, and you're like, no, I promise, I didn't do that. I know how to damage a car. Well, you, Ty, you didn't put it on the gate pass. Well, you didn't put it on the thing, or it's then not in the picture. Okay, well, I'm just telling you, I'm a pro at damaging, and I didn't do that. Too bad you need to pay us. Right. So I, I look at <clears throat> stuff like that. I mean, my damages that I paid in the course of a year would make you want to cry. So... I just look at it like there's there's a big huge plus, Protection. especially if you guys are hanging out with Cottrell. We hung out with them. Where was that? Jay Atlanta. Yeah, at they're the big, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, no, they, exactly. Cottrell, right on. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you guys yeah. start integrating stuff like that, you can. I, I'm I'd be happy to pay for something to help me not spend a lot of money in damages. Wow. Absolutely. Yep. Yep. Yeah. But anyway, no, I really do appreciate you guys coming on. You got it. I'm really thankful yeah. and. We'll catch up with you soon. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Enjoy it so much, guys. Enjoy it, guys. So yep. much. All right. We'll be in touch. Okay. okay. We'll All do right. it. Take right. care. Right. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye bye. And what I'll do is I'll tell you what, Ty, I'll put them back in the waiting room. 
Because I can, because I have the power. Um, let's just wrap it up. Listen, great job bringing Alex and Mike on today. That was awesome. Um, there yeah, is works. a lot to talk about. It's fantastic. And, <clears throat> um, and it's, a, you know what? Like Anatoly in the live chat, this is a really important topic because there's still a lot of questions. There's a lot of use case questions. And I know we didn't get into the price. We'll get into that at another time. But, um, man, great, man, great stuff, Ty. Well, you, need, you know, I'm thinking about Mark this whole time. Superflow, right? I mean, or a Truckify, whatever these guys use. You know, there's other technologies that guys use to keep track of their loads. And in doing that, uh, you know, the, it always goes back to where, where when's it going to be here? Where's the truck? You know, you've got the load, where to pick it up, where to drop it off, <clears throat> what kind of vehicle it is. Then you've got your app. You walk around, you take a bunch of pictures of the car, four corners, right? As this progresses, I'm thinking, you know, I've been doing this 20 years, and I remember having the stupid thought one day, wouldn't it be cool if I could just have cameras everywhere on my trailer? <laughs> Here we are, 2021, <laughs> baby. <laughs> These oh, guys man. are talk hanging out with Contrell. That's insane. That's it sick. It, yeah, no, that is. And, you know, one of the things I was thinking about, I didn't bring it up, but, you know, that technology where when you're when you're watching a sporting event, say like a football game, and you always know where the line is, where you got to kick the field goal yeah. from, yeah, right? Yeah. That I, when they were talking about Cottrell and height, yeah, dude. And, in fact, I shared, I saw this, you're going to have like this smart windshield technology where you'll see, it'll be on your windshield, data and information so you're not looking at your phone you're not opening a map you're not checking your gate pass data is showing up you know like terminator style right you just stare and you get this you know and all that but it is it's amazing use and information i thought of another one for those guys we need to do uh we check, need to check. introduce them okay. to oh can you hear me no no you're good I, that was me no you're good we need to introduce them to our drive away gang oh <laughs> Well, that's the thing. He said, "Park my, not park my fly, but fly my, I don't know." Yeah, some the shuttle airport. bus. Yes, yeah. um, park my fly. <laughs> <laughs> that's silly. Um, you know, if you could make his, that technology where you put it in the guy's hand and he's go get in that car right there and drive that car. Okay, I need you to take this cross town. Go. Yeah. Oh, I forgot my camera. Hold on, and they throw it on the dash. Yeah. I mean. Do you know what those the driveway company probably goes through? Right, exactly. Ooh. Yeah, they get all kinds of random. Who knows what happened? Oh, right, terrible. Yeah. Oh yeah. So it is. Right. It's, it is amazing. Okay, dude. Thank you, My Ty. Hand's frozen. Great show. Yeah, you got to be cold, man. So I'm gonna <laughs> let you go. Go get warm. Thanks for another great Friday show. Let's say goodbye to everybody Good. together. Listen, uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in to Cars on the Move on Friday. We really appreciate it. We want to thank our friends at Fortress Mobile. Alex and Mike, if you have any questions, we want to get you the information. It's in the live chat, but you know where to find us. Send me an email, autotransportintel at gmail.com. And also, um, before I go, I want to share, if you do, I said it, I said it, um, and I and I mean it. If you've got business questions, you go to autotransportintel.com, click on sign up, and I put the uh, link in the live <clears throat> chat, and you'll get in touch with Ty. This is the guy you want to talk to. Yeah, I'll Ty talk Thompson. to you. Ty cool, Thompson. Man. Ty Thompson. Thanks, guys. Have Cars a great weekend. Thanks, everybody. Stay safe, and we'll see you soon. Peace out.